We begin with the star that gives us life, the Sun. A blazing sphere of hydrogen and helium. 1.4 million kilometers wide. But in the vast theater of the universe, it's just the opening act. Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky. Twice the size of the Sun, and 25 times more luminous. It's close by, just 8.6 light years away. But size? Still modest in cosmic terms. Next comes Pollux, an orange giant about nine times wider than the Sun. Once a regular star, it has swelled with age, radiating a soft golden hue, marking the beginning of true stellar scale. Meet Arcturus, a red giant 25 times the size of our sun. Older and cooler, it shines with a fiery orange-red glow. Its light has traveled 37 light years to reach us. Then comes Rigel, a blue supergiant, 70 times the diameter of our sun, and tens of thousands of times brighter. It lives fast and dies young, burning with fierce intensity. Now we enter the realm of giants. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant nearing the end of its life. 1,000 times wider than the sun, it would engulf the orbit of Jupiter, if placed at our system's center. And then comes V.Y. Canis Majoris, one of the largest stars ever discovered. Over 1,400 times the Sun's diameter. A red hypergiant so vast, it defies the imagination. Finally, we reach U.Y. Scuddy, the current record holder for the largest known star. Nearly 1,700 times the Sun's width, if placed in the center of our solar system, it would swallow Saturn. It is not just big, it's beyond comprehension. Now, behold the stars together. From our sun to UY Scuddy. The scale of the universe stretches our very sense of size, light, and time. From birth in clouds of gas, to fiery youth, to explosive deaths, stars tell the story of the universe. Some will become white dwarfs, others collapse into black holes. And in their death, they give life to the cosmos.